Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Shubham. So in this video we will understand what is compact layout in Salesforce. To explain the compact layout we will cover what is compact layout in Salesforce then how does it works and after that I will explain how we can customize the compact layout in Salesforce. So before moving ahead let's understand on the Salesforce org what is the compact layout. So for that let's navigate to the Salesforce org. Now here I am opening the account object for that click on app launcher. Here I am searching for the account object. Now as I open this record, here you can see at the top of the record detail page, here we have account name, type, phone, website, account owner, account site and then industry. And now as I click on these details, so here we have multiple fields for this account object. Now let's take an example, you have multiple fields in this account object and you want to search the key fields or the important fields from every account. So for that instead of scrolling down for the every account what we can do we can add the important fields or the key fields on header of this account record detail page. So I will explain how we can add these fields at top of the account record page. For that watch the video till end and don't miss any step after that you can also able to create compact layout in Salesforce. And if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever you post any new video you will get an update. And also here is very big announcement for the Salesforce geekers. We have recently launched the Salesforce development course. We explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way. So you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level. In that we have covered 10 modules. You will get lifetime access. So here you can see here we have covered 10 modules introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. After that Salesforce user management. Then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs. After that the Salesforce fields and formulas. UI customization in Salesforce, after that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. So the compact layout is a set of fields that appear at the top of record detail page and helping the users quickly see important information without scrolling. It's essentially a streamlined version of records details page. Now let's understand how to customize compact layout in Salesforce. So for that jump to the Salesforce org and so firstly I will show you here I'm clicking on student object or student tab and here I'm opening the student record which is record detail page and from here there are some fields like a student name then a total fees and a course stream. These three fields very important for me and these fields I always want to check for every record. Now what if there are multiple fields? So it will be very difficult to check these fields. So we will create compact layout for this object. And like the search layout, compact layout also different for the different objects. So here we are going to customize the compact layout for this student object. For that click on gear icon, setup, click on object manager search for the object for which you want to customize compact layout here I am searching for student open the object then as you scroll down here you will see the compact layout here you can see here we have compact layout here I am clicking on this after that here you can see here we have system default layout click on it so here we need to click on this clone button to clone the system default layout so here I am clicking on clone button provide the label here I am providing key fields the name will be automatically populate and after that here we need to select the fields that we want to display at the top of the record detail page so here I am selecting name student name then which field we want to select total fees also to select the multiple fields press the control key and after that we also want to display course stream. And then click on add button. Here you can see the course stream, student name and total fees has been successfully added to the compact layout. Now we can arrange this one. So here I am placing the student name below the student ID then course stream and then total fee. After that we need to click on save button. 
Now here you can see the key fields compact layout has been successfully created and they included fields, student ID, name, course stream and then total fee. Now if you don't have any record type then you need to assign to the primary layout. To assign the compact layout here you can see compact layout assignment click on it and now click on edit assignment scroll down here you can see primary contact layout so from here we need to select key fields compact layout that we created and then here you can see the record types that we created college student school students and then student type now you can assign the key fields compact layout to all the record types so first I will show you how we can assign the key fields compact layout that we created to the all record types for that here I am selecting all the record types by pressing the control key and then compact layout to use here we need to select key fields and after this we need to click on save button. Now here you can see for all these record types the key fields compact layout has been assigned. Now let's navigate to the student tab. Let me refresh this one. So in the lightning it takes time to reflect the changes. Here you can see the header part. The fields that we selected in the compact layout those all fields should be displayed in this section. So here again I am refreshing the page. And now here you can see the student name, course stream and then total fees. These fields we selected in the compact layout and the changes also reflected over here and now whenever we open any student record these all three fields always will be display on the header so here I am opening another record I don't have any record let me create new one okay that's it let me save this one and here you can see student name course stream and then total fees now let me update the details for the course stream and total fee. So here I am selecting course stream as a computer application, total fee and then click on save. As I scroll up here you can see in the course stream the computer application value that we selected and in the total fee the 80,000 fee has been assigned. Now again let me navigate to the compact layout. So firstly for all record types we have assigned same compact layout let me create another one so here I am clicking on again compact layout again click on system default again click on clone now in the label here I am providing important fields the name will be automatically populate then scroll down and now here I am selecting student name press the control key again admission done checkbox and then date of birth and then click on add and now here I am saving this compact layout again click on this compact layout assignment click on edit assignment and now here you can see before creating the important fields compact layout we only have the key fields and the system default now for the school student I want to assign important fields compact layout for that what I need to do I need to select this one then click on this compact layout to use and then select the important fields compact layout and then click on save here you can see for the school students the important fields compact layout has been successfully assigned again let me navigate to the students now as I open the student record so for this record student name course stream and total fees these fields we have added in the key fields compact layout now we need to create school student record click on next provide name age date of birth email admission done yes select subject math last year percentage 90 and then click on save and this time here you can see here we have admission done date of birth and then student name the student name came last because we didn't arrange the fields while creating the uh, compact layout 
So these are the uses of compact layout in Salesforce. Now let's understand some considerations to creating the compact layout. So the compact layout supports all the fields except the text area, long text, rich text and multi-select pick list. Why this? Because of these all fields takes too much space and on the header we don't have that much space. That's why the compact layout does not allow these fields. Then the compact layout can only contain the fields from its object. So what is it means? So for example, there is another object which is faculty and in the faculty there are different fields. Now in the student objects compact layout, we cannot add the faculty objects fields. So these are some consideration we need to follow to create the compact layout in Salesforce. I hope whatever I explained you understood that. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. So whenever we post a new video, you will get an update. Keep watching and let's meet again in next videos. Thank you.